Okay, I've turned um, some shading on so a little shadow and lights to give us a little bit of depth to uh, what we're looking at. And if we go to that south elevation, you can actually see the tapering of the grade here in this uh, view. And it's a little bit funky because our uh, elevation um, is very close to the building there, so we're getting a little bit of cropping of the ground plane. So we have that constructed. Let's go to our site now and see how we could put a little... Um, detention pond in here uh, near the building. So I'm going to go to edit the topo surface by selecting it and going to edit surface. And I'm going to add some new points in. And I want those to be uh, really deep too, like the outside edges of the site. So I'm just going to try and um, pop a few points in here and watch what happens to uh, the geometry. And I'm just going to modify these a little bit. So we have this now I really don't want that to happen because we're out at the outside edges of this. So I'm going to undo this a minute until we're back to there. I really want to start putting that in at some point where it's uh, at least a little bit higher. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these contours over a bit. I want to put a little pond in right here. And I'm just experimenting with these two, so um, excuse me if I'm a little bit awkward on the way we do this. So um, now I've lost the... Okay, so we have place point, and I'm going to place a point here at minus 6. Now that's a little more um, organized to where we're talking ab about wanting our, our retention pond to be. So I'll just put in three points. So now you can see the idea that that's going down in elevation. And I'll just put in a couple of more points to give it some shape. So I'm going to go to minus 5 and start changing. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to Apple Z this, or excuse me, Control Z this little giveaway that I'm a Mac user. So that's minus 6. Um, now we're going to do minus 5 here. I don't like the way that grid line is crunching into that one because that's at minus five too. So let's go, let's undo that. Let's put in a couple of more points along this one here. Let's do another, this is at minus six, this is at minus five. I'm going to add a point. Let's see if it'll allow me to add a minus six point in here. I'm just trying to try to get a little more shape out of it. There we go. And I'll go to the minus five point. I mean minus four is what I want. And I'll try to add a little point over here a little bit. That's minus four. So let's see what happens when I pull on that a little bit. Okay, so now I'm starting to make a little bit of a, a pond-like shape. Okay, so this is um, this now doesn't have any water in it. So one of the techniques, as far as I've found, to be able to add water to the pond, and we could look at this in a 3D view. Maybe you could see a little bit about what's going on here. Um, a little bit difficult to see what's happening with the elevation. Why don't we go ahead and cut a section line through? So I'll go back to the site view, and I'll grab... Um, oh, that's funny. It won't let me draw, draw a section line here. Maybe because we're still in the editing mode. Hold on a second. There we are. I'm sorry. And we'll just cancel or just uh, click that off. And now let's see if we can put a section line in there. Yeah, there we go. So let's just cut a section line all the way through here. And I'll pull that out a little bit, and we can see what we've got here. If I can find my sections section. Okay, so there's our small little lagoon area. So, and I'm going to go ahead and delete that. We don't really need it. So I'll hit delete. And what I do want to do, though, is I want to put in a some water. So I'm going to go ahead now and make a freeform component, which is just a flat surface, uh, an extruded 
shape. So I'm going to place a component. Excuse me. I'm going to uh, model and place a component. And we'll just use a generic generic model. And it'll be an extrusion. And we'll use the line tool. And we'll chain it. And I'm just going to walk around here and figure just a surface that stays outside of the this is not accurate because this will it doesn't need to be accurate because what we're going to do is um, go to our 3d view of this and we're going to now ex pull this down I'm going to pull this down so it gets thicker and I'm going to pull the top down until it starts to just peek up a little bit sensitive there let's pull that down a little more well let me zoom in a little bit there we go so now it's right at the level where it's clipping off at that elevation which is what I wanted to do if I was to uh, just undo that for a minute if it's high, it's extruding up. You can see the edges of it. But if I bring it just right down to the perfect, it's just going to go to the level or the contours of the water itself. And we can, of course, uh, give this a color. So we can go ahead and then um, um, still edit this um, extrusion. So if I click into it, I'll get a chance to give it a material. And we're looking for a material. Um, we'll do it simple for now. So we'll just make it a water. So I'm going to make a new material. We'll just call it water. Rename this. And this could have a texture and be relatively sophisticated. But for, for now, all we're going to do is just pick a bluish color for water, maybe a, a bluish green. And I'm thinking um, if we have grass, I want to be able to be stand off a little bit from that all right so that's okay and apply and it probably won't look quite right but anyway let's uh finish this off now and it's still rendering gray hmm. oh that's because i'm in shaded mode let me go to realistic all right so we have a blue water now on this really uh brown um landscape so let's go ahead and um, let me finish the model off here let me go ahead and um, pull some grass up for this the other thing i want to do right now is get rid of these things in the model so let me hide all the levels all right we need a grass material so let's go to manage And we'll create a new material. We'll rename that grass. And we'll, I don't think we have any grass, so let's look for some. And we kind of want something that's really um, raw field grass kind of thing. And um, I'll just import that into that. And we'll put this away. And so now we have uh, grass. I'm not getting my preview yet for it, but we're okay. So I'm going to apply that and hit OK. And it didn't get applied to this. So I'm probably just because I made a new material without selecting it. So we'll give this grass again, and hopefully that'll solve the problem. So there we have um, some kind of hideous looking grass but it's grass uh, nonetheless to start with so we can make these um, topographical lines disappear and we'll be able to do that um, soon um, just by going back to our massing and site I'll do it I'll toggle it if we just do turn the contour lines off and hit apply now we have no contours in the surface and it's really difficult to read at this point because we have um, nothing else on the site it's really difficult to read to change in terrain but that'll become much more readable as we go ahead so I'm going to turn the contour lines back on again we'll leave them that way for a little bit 
And when we pick this up, we'll look at putting our parking lot and our entry in for the building.